East High School has a direct pipeline to a multi-billion dollar industry right here in Rochester with employers looking for talent who are detail oriented and motivated. As the school year ends, we feature two graduates who have found a career doing something they say they never dreamed about growing up in the city. I polish glass. I'm technically an optical engineer, but I also laser engrave our parts too. 21 year old John Hall is making 20 plus dollars an hour, earning monthly bonuses and other perks, and he says he just bought his dream car. This is not something I imagined I would be doing. I honestly didn't know anything about this. It is called Precision Optics. Hall got a job right out of high school working for Optimax manufacturing glass or the optics used in aerospace, defense, medical, photography, telecommunications, and other digital electronics. Currently, we have just under 400 full-time employees. We've already hired 50 full-time employees this year, and the expectation is that that trend is going to continue throughout the remainder of the year. Optimax is one of dozens of manufacturers in Rochester, an area considered the hub or epicenter of precision optics. If it wasn't for East High, I wouldn't be in the position I am today. Much like these students, John had to choose an elective at East High, and Paul Conroe convinced him to sign up for his class. Rochester is the nation's leader in precision optics. That means that we manufacture close to $3 billion worth of optics every year. As far back as the early 2000s, we knew there was going to be a shortage of skilled craftsmen and craftswomen. So Conroe secured commitment from several local company leaders, and he says thanks to a state education grant totaling half a million dollars over the past decade, he's been able to equip the lab at East High and give students the skills needed to go right to work. I wanted an industry that was overlooking city residents. Not, not overlooking, they just had never really um, found a, a, a pool of applicants that were ready. And I said, the only thing that's really missing for these kids is the opportunity to know what it is to do optics. It's still a little hot. When we first met Jamal Brown, he was weeks away from graduating and grateful, he says, for Mr. Conroe and the technical skills and life lessons he gained in the precision optics class. You have to push this pitch onto the, um, to the lenses so that you can get the shape of the pitch so that it, it matches the curve. After four years, Jamil is now heading to Monroe Community College to earn an associate's degree in precision optics. I plan to pursue this, this program um, that involves this because I have experience. Both Jamil and John credit Conroe's leadership, encouragement, and teaching style for their career paths. We need more programs that's, that'll change kids' lives. And Monroe Community College is the only college in the U.S. that offers a two-year optical manufacturing degree, and they're trying to partner with other institutions across the country to replicate their program.